guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So, as a Cowboys fan, there, there's a couple of moves I want to see going into the season because I'm not confident right now that we're going to be able to go right out there, dominate the division with our offense, with our defense. So, there's a lot of players on the market still, obviously. Now, there's a couple players on that market that I want to see us go and grab. And the main one is Everson Griffin. He's the thumbnail of the video. And the reason why is I, I, I don't believe in our we, – we are very thin at the defensive line. I kind of talked about it before. Obviously, Demarcus Lawrence. But then other than that, I have no confidence. I love Antoine Woods, one of my favorite players. But – I just, he, he's not top tier. He's not elite. Then Tristan Hill. I want to have faith in him that he will develop and prove that he's not a bust. Don't believe in him that all much. Or believe in him all that much. And then Tyrone Crawford. I, I, I don't like as a player. He's average, overpaid. And if we cut him, we save $9 million. So why the hell we cut him? Plus, he's a free agent free agent at the end of the season, and are we going to bring him back? No. There, there's been multiple reports that we're not going to bring him back. So if he's not going to be in our team next year, why are we keeping him? Cut him for f cap space. That $9 million that he'll save up can go to Dak. I mean, little things like that. Then, obviously, the Randy Gregory, the Alden Smith, and our other D-line depth with our rookies. But... Like Navelle Gallimore and obviously our other like defensive line depth, right? But I, I that alone is very thin. Last year we had so much depth on the D line. And you know, with Kerry Hyder, you know, we had Malik Collins, Antoine Woods, Ross. We had we had so much depth. There was like four more players like a name. But that was last year, and it's hard to remember those names. I remember our, our defense line was so good. And then going into the 2019 season, our defensive line dominated the preseason. And so many players were on like the trade watch because other teams looked, hey, this Dallas, Dallas defensive line is so deep. Let's try to snag some of those players to like some 6th and 7th round picks, which would have been smart. And then other teams realized, oh, Half those guys are on one-year deals, and those teams that were looking at those players to trade, they just picked them up, like Kerry Hyder going to the 49ers, um, Malik Collins going to the Raiders. They were going to trade like a fifth-round pick for Malik Collins. Well, they got him in free agency. So th there's so much that goes on to that. And I think Everson Griffin fills a huge hole, a massive hole, because he can move around. He could go from D-line to play a couple snaps of D-tackle, which is what we need which was what Tyrone Crawford was playing. He's 32 years old, three sack seasons, and he won't be very expensive. So like, when I talk about we need, um, like he, he fits that perfect need, like if we do cut Tyrone Crawford, which we aren't at this point, the guy that can go from DN to D-tackle, can sit out a couple plays, come back, and be fresh and get a big sack. And... You know, I don't want Jadavion Clowney. You know, he's not going to bring that sack presence. He can bring that presence of switching from D-tackle to D-end. But, obviously. And then people are talking about, we, we have defensive tackle depth of Jenner McCoy and Donate Poe. And, yeah, we didn't add depth. Those are our starters. I'm very happy with Jenner McCoy. But they look at Donate Poe, it's like... He's really our D-tackle, too. We paid him a decent amount of money to come in here. And, and that's where the lack of confidence is. So if we add a guy like Everson Griffin, who can bring that run stop ability at the D-tackle, to go out to D-N and bring that pass rush presence, maybe get a sack or two, and maybe he can replace the 11 and a half sacks that Robert Quinn had brought. And I, I, I am very happy Auden Smith is on our team. I really hope he can bring us at least five sacks. You know, I say, I'm thinking, or honestly, let me backtrack my stuttering. If he brings five and a half sacks, I feel like I'm being too greedy. Like if I'm asking, hey, Onnit Smith, 
I'm really hoping this guy can bring us five and a half sacks. That's greedy of me because who knows how healthy he is. Who knows if he's able to come right back into the league and bring double digits. So if he brings three sacks, I'm like, all right, expecting that. If he brings five and a half, I'm going to be very, very happy. But if he can bring that double digit presence, then I we don't need Everson Griffin. But we are missing that Robert Quinn factor, that guy that we brought in. And speaking of that D-line depth, we had Robert Quinn. We had Michael Bennett. We had so many other guys on that D-line. We were so deep. Uh, now we're very thin. So with the rotation at D-tackle of McCoy, Poe, Crawford, Hill, Antoine Woods, and Navel Gallimore, we need a new new D tackle. We can't bring all those guys onto the roster. Like that we can't. So I'm assuming that sadly one of those guys is gonna have to be cut. And sadly it's probably gonna be Antoine Woods, so I hope he don't cut. I love Antoine Woods. He's my favorite top five favorite player on the team. And he's probably gonna be the odd man out. So to replace him, we're gonna have to go sign a new D tackle. So let's look at the offensive side of the ball. We're probably going to sign uh, a tight end. We have three on our roster right now. That's not counting undrafted free agents. Like Blake Jarwin, Don Schultz, Blake Bell. Um, I feel like we need a new tight end. I'm not, talking about, I'm, I'm not degrading Blake Jarwin. I'm just saying, you know, with the Blake Bell and Don Schultz, I'm not a huge fan of Don Schultz. He is a blocking tight end, not a receiving tight end. But then... Going back to that defense side of the ball, um, I think our starters are going to be Trayvon Diggs and Chidibe Azuye, and then we have Anthony Brown, Jordan Lewis, but I feel like if we, we should go out and sign Logan Ryan. You know, we did sign Daryl Worley, who is going to bring that depth at corner, but I do really believe that we should go sign Logan Ryan, who's just another rotational piece for that nickel, and can't even be a guy that comes in as our number one, honestly, and replaces Chidibe Azuye. But anyway, that's just my two cents. I'm really hoping that we can go out and get Everson Griffin. So um, if we do get Everson Griffin, I'll be very, very happy. Uh, so other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.